for Pound King. There's that jab again. Hits the target with ease. He really does have a nice jab, and he's able to, with this particular style, he's able to pick his shots very well. So he's, he doesn't have to, you know, waste a lot of energy. He can pick and choose and do what he wants to do in there. Can always get out of trouble, too. There's that jab again. Well, you know, the thing hand. that gets me, it's not it's just a good jab. It is so accurate. It seems nine times out of ten, it is pure and flush exactly where he wants to place it, no matter what the situation is. Almost like he's doing bag work. Well, you know what it is? If you notice, he doesn't jab a lot. Like, just for the sake of jabbing. He jabs, apparently, when he knows it's going to land. Like, his connect percentage with the jab must be very high. Very, very high, with a purpose. And now picks up the pace with combination punching to close out this ninth round. Whitaker in control. Boy, that squatting duck under move, that is something that only Purnell does really well and comfortably. Other guys may try to do that, but you may get an uppercut coming in return. Purnell does it like it's just common course of defense. Well, you know, I was going to say also with Cardone, I was saying, you know, throw punches. And, of course, that's what you should do. But in defense of him, it's easier said than done. And um, that's another thing. When Whitaker, it may not look like much when he does that little dipsy do where he gets that, but that's frustrating. That's hard to deal with when a guy does it. And Purnell does it. I don't even think he necessarily does it on purpose. He just kind of flows out yeah, of it. That's him. what I'm saying. Exactly. It's just He's, part of the normal course right, of defense right. for him. Right. The way the way you may put up to block, he comes up with something <laughs> right. like that. And you can't teach that. You know, that's just something he does. Oh, uh, it's a nice combination. And then what does he do? takes a step off to the side and places that stinging jab again before coming into the corner and landing headshots. What a really nice way to close out this 10th round by Pernell Whitaker. He'll battle for 10 straight rounds. And you know what's amazing to me about boxing? At this level, Pernell, anybody else in the world to easily defeat a guy like Santos Cardona, with the knockout ratio and the history that he has. When this fight would be over, they'd jump in celebration. And I guarantee you, when this fight's over, Purnell's gonna shrug, like, eh, you know, another day at the office. It's not even that big of a deal to him, apparently, in the grand scheme of things, where it's, you know, to an average guy, this is, it would be a huge win. Three left hands to the belt line. Well, he's barely breathing hard after that 10th round. And remember, he finished off the end of that 10th round with the big exchange, and he casually walked back to the corner, and I don't even think he had his mouth open. Right, that's exactly what I'm saying. It's like, to him, at this level, it's not such a big deal, where the average top 10 guy, to do this to Santos Cardona would be huge for them. It'd be a, it'd be a big deal, but Purnell, he's Purnell, and, and that's, that's the difference between the great fighters and the good fighters and the pretty good fighters. Lost out a right hook that time as Chino came forward. It's almost like you get the feeling. It's almost like Purnell is working on something here. Like he's almost practicing a couple things just while he has a couple rounds to do it in. That'll get your attention. They're attacked. I can't do anything about it, Pete. Whitaker complaining one more time. And you heard Al Rothenberg tell him they're attached. I can't do anything about it. And he's complaining about the thumbing from Cardona. Good exchange there. Whitaker released two clean punches and then ducked under. 
Coming to the end of this 11th round. They will have one more to go. Sweet T in control. Oh, something after the bell. Oh, Sweet Pea goes Sour Patch on him. 